So this is the Sunlight Cliff, brand new model for 2018, and it's the company's first van conversion. So, Cliff then is the name. Slightly odd name for a van conversion perhaps, but there you go. The one we've got here is the 540, the smallest in the range, the medium wheelbase Fiat Ducato. Van as small as this, not that much bigger frankly than a, a long wheelbase Volkswagen Transporter or something like that. This with a 115 engine, absolutely fine and that would save you £800 or so um, to, to go for that entry level engine. Well while we're talking about prices, they start at 40 grand. Um, this one as you see it is about 44. In terms of the motorhome, it's pretty standard for a European budget van conversion. You've got half donette at the front, swivel cab seats. One thing they've done that's quite clever is they've actually retained the Fiat trim on the cab seats and used something that's very, very similar, but not quite the same for the half dinette. So it, it, it matches optically, even down to the, the stitching, and saves the cost of, of re-upholstering the front seats. Then you've got washroom in the middle, which is uh, quite well designed. The kitchen includes a uh, two burner hob, compressor fridge, the kitchen in the usual place running partially across the sliding door, which stays on the continental side, even with right hand drive, like most imported van conversions. Bed at the back, that's quite neat in the way it folds for um, extra storage. And you can bling it up a bit more with metallic paint. There's two, two metallic colours you can choose from instead of the white if you, if you want. Like so many motorhomes, there are options packs. Two fitted to this particular vehicle, the basic pack and the chassis pack. I quite like the sort of modern, fresh feel inside this sunlight. There's lots of, of white, which reflects the light and makes what is a small space not feel too small. Then, looking at this classic half done it arrangement, you've got wall-mounted table and a sticker here telling you to stow the table when you're traveling. Now, we haven't had it stowed and I'll show you why. Lifts off the wall easily enough, but the table leg just does that. So you've got absolutely no hope of getting this in the over cab shelf there. The other thing about this table is there's no fancy swing out extension leaf to make it bigger and so that whoever's sitting there can actually reach their cup of cocoa. But what you get instead is the ability to pull that out and then just a very simple slot in panel but it does give you a bit more surface. And bear in mind that there's next to no worktop in the kitchen once you've got cooker and sink lids raised. All you've got then is this little flap here. So to be able to overflow onto the kitchen when you're preparing dinner is useful. The other thing about this kitchen, you've got a little bit of worktop up here with a mains point, 12 volt point there as well. So that's a bit of extra worktop. Drawers, nice selection of smallish but useful drawers, all with soft clothes, and the wardrobe alongside. When you look at how little space is devoted to the bathroom, you expect something really disappointing, but actually what you get is pretty damn good. Swivel toilet, fixed corner basin, it all looks nicely presented, bit of storage, all works well. The one thing you need to check out is headroom because there isn't a great deal of it. Now, when it comes to the rear bed, it probably helps if you are a little bit taller for, just from the point of view of getting up there. But Sunlight have thought of that and they provide this portable step. And the other thing I like, although the bed tapers slightly this side, you can actually sleep whichever way around you like because these lights, how neat is that? Six foot long, actual mattress length, but if you are a tiny bit taller than that, you can extend your feet into these 
into the recess at that end and your pillow into the recess at this end. So you've got, you know, just a tiny bit more than six foot. And for somebody my height, about five foot 10, it's certainly more than adequate. This fly screen is one of the many features in that basic pack and the electric step is too. Neatly, it's just on one touch operation, but you do need to remember to uh, put it in because if you don't, it doesn't go in automatically, you just get a horrible buzzing noise. Right, time to go. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great motorhome content. Also, why not drop us a line below and let us have your opinion on the new Sunlight Cliff. And why not check out another one of our videos by clicking here.